and see what they're up to. Okay, let's watch these guys muscle this tank in. Oh, what's going on here? Look, new project. Let's see what they're up to. Let's see what the crazy staff of Fragbox, what are you guys doing out here? Painting, look at this, looks nice. Ready to go, five foot new frag tank. Tia is the painting extraordinaire. It looks nice. Don't break it. Yeah, put the tank in the store. Let's go. Don't break it, March. March built the stand in one day. Looking really good. One day, like like an hour, right? Like half an hour. <laughs> half an hour. All right. Good job, guys. All right, all right, all right. With the magic of YouTube, three days have actually passed. And I'll show you what I've got done. So it's, it's nighttime right now, as you can see. No one in the store. This is actually, I kind of like working at this time. This is the, one of the fun things about being a small business owner. Sometimes you got to work late. Um, but it's nice because no one's here in the store. I can make a mess. I can get done a little bit more work. I'm not talking to people. I can blast some music, put on some jazz, some blues, some reggae, wataguan. Okay, no, what's up? So I got water in the tank, as you can see. It's full and it was not leak proof. So what does that mean? Over here on the bulkheads, I'm getting better at plumbing. Um, I really shouldn't have any leaks after doing this for so long, but over here on this bulkhead, I had a little, little, little drip, but all it needed was um, a tightening of the bulkhead. So that was nice. I thought maybe I screwed up on the plumbing somewhere. On this tank, we actually, this is kind of like our little side panel here. We're going to hide some electrical uh, and some plumbing. So I'd like to leave like a little access door. Actually, I do that on all my tanks. Let me show you even on this frag tank here. So I make these little access doors to hide all the junk, all the plumbing, all the wiring. Um, this one's pretty neat, actually. I'm happy I showed you this one. I guess that could be better, but this one's pretty neat. So it just kind of gives, gives us room to put all the, um, all the electronics. This tank, we hooked it up to our main system. So what does that mean? If you did something like this at home, um, you know, you might run a whole separate sump, hang on the back filter, something like that. That's just not feasible for us to do, you know, a small tank like this with a um, with a whole nother sump. So what I did is I connected it. Actually, let me show you. I'll go down to the basement. It's actually connected. Um, this t system is now hooked up into this one. Oh my God, it's nighttime. This is when the poltergeist comes out. I know you guys want the ghost story. It's coming closer to Halloween. I'm going to share it with you. It's really dumb too. I'm just building it up. And he's a nice ghost. Um, disregard the mess. What I did here is this is like uh, one pump that's just running to what we call our SPS tank at the front of the store. And I took my handy cutters over here and I just gave it a burp. And then I teed off this way and went through the floor. And then the same thing for the drain. I just took the drain from the tank. Da, 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 da. I don't even know where I went. I went this way and then this way and then this way and then this way. And I guess that's where I went. I dropped down right back here into the returns. Realistically, I should have brought it over to where I have um, the filter floss, but um, this is the decision I made today. Let's get out of here before the ghost comes. I don't like working in the basement at night. No, he's friendly. I'm just kidding. So it is running. It is leak proof. It's connected now to our main system. So basically, not basically, what I've done is add like, I think it's a 40, 50 gallon tank. We've added an extra 40, 50 gallons to our main coral system here in the store. Now the fun part, the stand. What am I going to do with the stand? What I'm doing here is what we call slat wall. And as you can see, actually I've covered the entire, entire store. So it's good to be handy. Uh, I'm somewhat handy. I still have all my fingers, which is good. I haven't cut any off yet. Um, but I like the slat wall stuff because it's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, hmm, what is the word I'm looking for? 
It's really easy to use, but it, uh, no, that's not it. Modular, da, that took like 60 seconds of thinking off camera. It's modular, it's really easy to move stuff. We're gonna kill this product, you know, you take this off, whatever, you move it, you can do shelving, you can do cool stuff like this. It's super, super modular, and because the store is so, so small, you guys always hear me bitching in the videos how small it is, little things like this make a big, big difference. I can fit almost an entire um, line of products, you know, like, you know, something like this or all of our frag plugs can all fit nicely underneath the stand. So I don't just cover stuff up as I do with these ones over here. We use every square inch. We got our sand, our heavy stuff, our RDIs, our, our um, color changing resin, floss, um, stuff to do more RODI stuff. So as you see, the stands are really, really important. We got salt open there in the front. I should have done something better with this over here. It's just an empty space. Maybe I should have done some product in there, but alas, it is done. So I'm going to go ahead, magic of YouTube. I'm going to make this all look nice and pretty. And then we're going to get on to the lights and the flow. And we're going to make some custom um, frag racks, kind of like we have over here. Okay, making some progress. Put all the stuff down here, got the sides on. To finish this, I'm going to do plexi or acrylic. If you've seen any of my other videos when I do a build, that's my preferred way of finishing a stand. It's just like plastic, plexi, acrylic, whatever you want to call it. It's waterproof. If uh, we have a flood, then we don't really have to worry. Oh, speaking about floods, hang tight. The video I'm going to release, maybe I'll do it tomorrow or the day after that. We actually flooded the store. So look out for that video. I'm going to talk to you about how we ended up with a lot, a lot of water on the floor. I'm going to go hang and uh, sorry, go ahead and start hanging the lights. We're going with Radeon XR30 and XR15 G5 Blues. This is one of the best parts about owning a reef store. Watch this, this right here. Oh, I think I want to use a Radeon. I'm going to go grab it. I'm going to go open a Radeon XR30 because that's what I want to use. Obviously, it's a business write-off. Uh, still costs us money. I'm being an idiot, but uh, awesome, awesome lights if you're looking for uh, lighting for really any sort of aquarium. Well, this is overpowered. Go with the, the smaller one, but shout out to, to Radeon. It's how we're lighting the store here. All right, one down, one to go. I was thinking to use three lights on this tank here. It's um, 60 inches long, so five feet, 16 wide, and only 12 inches tall. That's pretty standard for a frag tank. But I'm using the trusty, disregard the mask, uh, par meter over here. Actually, little sidetrack of the day. If you're looking to rent a par meter in Canada, we are now offering a rental service. So we'll send it to you, you leave a deposit, you send it back, you get back your money, and then you know how strong your lights need to be set over your aquarium. I'll do another video explaining the par meter rental and yeah that should be good obvious very easy to connect love the app thank you ecotech shout out to them again um yeah let me see i'm gonna put a 30 on here i think it might just be the two lights let's see what happens okay i know this is not an unboxing video but i just have to share this it's just it's so satisfying it's so black, it's so new, it's so nice. It's gonna get full of fingerprints, it's never gonna be clean again. There's no dust in here. Oh, it's so nice when it's new. So the lights are updating right now, the firmware. In the meantime, I've gone ahead and added two wave makers to the tank. I went with this company here, uh, inexpensive. It's called Jabao, this is the SOW8 model. They're very powerful, like I said, inexpensive wave maker. So it actually comes with this um, controller here. You can dial up and down the speed wave strength intensity a couple different modes they are fairly reliable they're pretty quiet they're easy to clean and they're cheap i just need something cheap move water around i i, I don't feel like putting you know uh, mp10s not every single tank needs crazy crazy flow so a pair of those they are 95 dollars canadian here at our store maybe that's like 70 ish uh us so i'm going to go ahead and just wire in the controllers i think maybe here so they're easy to access because they have a cool um, feed mode on them so this tank is going to be used a lot for photos so i want to be able to easily access a feed mode to be able to turn them off for five minutes kill the surface agitation and then take our nice pretty photos for the website little trick that I have here. You don't want to put magnets in the water, but I want this one over here. So what I do is I grab one of our uh, coral bags and then I just tie it off like a couple times and I stick it here underwater. So um, that way it's safe. I'll check on it maybe once a year to make sure no water is getting in it, but it's just a little trick if someone's looking to use a wave maker, but on the actual overflow and have the magnets emerge. Okay, powerheads installed, lights installed, little frag racks built, but you know what? I'm tired. I think that's it for today's video. I'll talk more about these in next time's video. It's bedtime. I'm going to go ahead and clean up. And I'm also going to thank you for subscribing to our channel because I know you've already done that. So I'm going to say thanks. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe because if you don't know, 
We try and do a reef-related topic every single day of the week. We'll catch you here next time. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Fragbox TV.